Part two, let's talk about water and fertiliser. Now that the army is a dam. Dam's pretty full here for this time of year. We've had good rains over the winter. They filled up most of the farmers' dams, which is really good. They'll have some surplus water to throw out in their crops, so they'll plant more, and on it goes. Over here, we've got some switching. They open up the valves. Water can go this way, or it can go over where we were before. So we'll just come out of this tank here. This one's not full yet, but there's been a next one on the agenda. Those four behind it are full. I'm over there for road train, delivering the fertiliser, and a tank just on the other side. That's a nice day out, as you can see. So what actually happens is we fill these tanks up, they open up this valve, goes through that um, yellow hose into this box where they can regulate via that tap of how much fertiliser is going to go in that water to where it's going to go, what paddock or whatever it may be. So obviously some paddocks need more than others and they'll regulate that by putting a little bit more on the paddocks that need it and they constantly test the leaves of the cotton plant to see how much nitrogen is actually in the plant and they'll just adjust them and make more nitrogen or less nitrogen depending on how much the plant wants. Now as we go along with this little story of mine, you'll see the different sorts of cotton what's being grown. There'd be dry land, no irrigation, they'd be irrigated, there'd be dry land with fertiliser sprayed on top, they'd be irrigated with fertiliser sprayed on top. So there's a variety of ways to put them on, but at the end of the day, cotton is a fair bit of the end to make it grow really big. So that's basically it. We deliver the, the fertiliser. It's all Yarra products, all real good stuff. Uh, we put it in these tanks, goes in the channel, gets out the paddock via those siphons, and everything grows really good. So that's about it for today. Looking forward to the next one. See you all later.